Yup. Right, we got another video, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let that bitch clear up. Let that bitch clear up, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, clear up, nigga. Hold on, I gotta clear, I gotta make my shit clear, you know what I'm saying? Oh well. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. There we go. Y'all, yep. right, we got another video. We got 15 most illegal dog breeds in the world, man. Damn, bro. Hey, man, look, y'all know we came in to do, man. Y'all know we didn't come to do, man. We came in to get straight to the point. What we didn't come to do, man, is all that other stuff, man. With that being said, man, let's get right to the video. Tree has its own rules and regulations Damn, by which it expects its citizens to abide. <laughs> Some can be as absurd as not being yes. able to hike naked in Switzerland, which, fair enough. But some relate to the pets you can own. From the wolf-like Akita to the giant Tosa Ken, here are 15 of the most illegal dog breeds in the world. That's a boxer. Number 15. Pit bulls are illegal in the UK. UK off the scrubber, y'all some pussies. Off the scrubber. After 15 fatal dog attacks in Wales and England care. in the decade between 1981 and 1991, the United so Kingdom was fed up. That's because I don't know how to treat them, bro. That's our problem. Y'all treat them wrong. That's why they. Yeah. They were tired of vicious dogs and they wanted action. So that's what they got. Pitbulls, along with the Fila Brasileiro, the Dogo fish. Argentino, and the Japanese Toso, were all outlawed in the Dangerous Dogs Act. There's no scientific backing to actually say that these particular dog breeds are any more dangerous than, say, your average Pomeranian or Labrador. However, they have been favored by criminals who train them to attack. Some exception anybody can train a dog to attack do the hell this can be granted to own a pit bull, but you can't breed, sell, or exchange them. They also have to be muzzled in public, on a lead, registered, neutered, insured, tattooed, and microchipped. Hell, nah, really do it's give dead. this breed a bad name. There is no discernible difference in aggression between a pit bull type dog and a golden retriever, according to the American Temperament Test Society. What's more, pit bulls have long served as police dogs, search and rescue dogs, and in films. It's crazy crucial not to tar them all with the same brush. How about we tar their owners instead? Before we go on, like this video, smash this on your face when you're... Number 14. Fila Brasileiro in the United That's States. What that is? In the United States alone, That's the Fila Brasileiro... That's a dog, boy, that motherfucker. That husky in the motherfucker. USA pussy for banning these dogs. Solero, or Brazilian Mastiff, is banned in Wisconsin, Colorado, Kansas, Oregon, and Washington. Oh, I can get one to know. I can get one to know. It may also be prohibited in several other countries and cities around the world. Why do I? Bro, is this Ask big? any owner of a Filo Brasileiro, and they'll likely tell you that they are a hard-working dog who is loving, playful, excellent around tell. kids, and affectionate. They'll also be quick to point out that they are massive, standing as tall as 30 inches and weighing up to 180 pounds. They don't sound like decent reasons for a dog to be banned, do they? The truth is, though, that the Fila Brasileiro doesn't have the best reputation. It is a breed Tom, that's been oh, known for fuck. aggressive tendencies and is suited only for experienced dog owners. Fila Brasileiros are fiercely loyal to their families. Therefore, they... Every dog is loyal to his family, no matter what kind of dog it is. Love everything they consider theirs and stand guard against anything that isn't. This may not exactly be a recipe for success if someone's innocently passing by or delivering your mail. As a result, some states and cities see this breed as a liability. Number 13 Alaskan Malamutes. What is that? 
There's no denying that Alaskan Malamutes are beautiful dogs. But as it turns out, they're also illegal to own in some states of the United States, or at least have a few limitations. Damn, that dog big as hell. Well, she just small as hell. They are a trainable dog, but they also require, or demand, a lot of exercise. We'll get in the exercise. Their prey drive is also incredibly strong, which makes them a danger to many small animals. Let's put it this so? way. Your neighbor's cats are not safe. So? Their desire to hunt can make them a threat to many animals in your neighborhood. So? They are also quite a dominant breed, which means that putting two dogs together of the same gender, if you're not experienced, is truly a terrible idea. You should do that anyway. The between these dogs can be life-threatening. Therefore, nah, for real, like, keep it a band 30. Who is going to put a boy and a boy together? That don't even make sense. You obviously want to get a boy and a girl so you can make them and get more money from them. You put a lot of money. I don't know, folks. They be having some stupid reasons. Some cities and states decide to make it easier on themselves and just ban the breed. Of course, there are some people who need this breed, such as those who take part in backpacking, weight pulling, sledding, and ski jouring. Malamutes are well and truly in their element when pulling or spending time in the great outdoors. But basically, to own this breed, you really do need to have a lot of experience. Number 12. I've got a lot of Doberman Pinscher. Doberman Pinschers don't appear at the top of many banned dog lists, but they are at least on the records of a few small cities. And while there are several reasons why Doberman Pinschers make excellent pets, there are also a few reasons why people are a little weary of them. Y'all scared? They are a dog the breed that requires a responsible owner who can dedicate a lot of time to training. They are trained for the purpose of protection, and they are definitely an ideal deterrent. Still, you not only need to make sure you buy them from a reputable breeder, but that you train and socialize them to both be a part of the family and a safe animal for strangers to be around. Not all Dobermans are. What's more, they are a breed that requires a lot of exciting jobs to do. They demand stimulation and can get themselves into a lot of trouble if they don't get it. There's no denying so? that this breed can be a well-rounded, lovable family pet. Number 11. Czechoslovakian Wolf Dog. The Czechoslovakian Wolf Dog is banned in many places, but not necessarily because of anything it did yeah, wrong. Like, many like, wolf like, hybrids are forbidden because they may not be as safe to own as a regular dog. <laughs> Like a hyena. In saying that, while Finland restricts ownership of wolf dogs, the Czech wolf dog is excluded from that list. So it can't be all bad. In fact, it's not. This beautiful animal is one that many people love to own. They are an intelligent, loyal, and powerful dog that is extremely devoted to its owner. They have exceptional hearing, sight, and smell, and they serve many different purposes. For example, they're commonly used in the U.S. and Europe for search and rescue. For sure. People also value them for working dog sports, agility, obedience, and herding. They are a dog of all trades. Still, they're not the best choice for a first-time owner. They also require a lot of training and socialization to keep other pets, children, and even adults as safe as possible. Therefore, I suppose some cities are taking a cautious approach. I'm keeping it bang. If you got that dog since it was a baby, it's gonna protect you regardless, bro. Like, if 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 if, if dogs are probably one of the most loyal animals on the, on this earth, so if you raise a dog from when it, it was a baby, and then it grow up, it's, any animal is like that, bro. You raise any animal when it was a baby and it grow up and it knew you and you taught it everything and know, bro. That dog is gonna be loyal to you regardless. Any dog, it don't matter what kind of dog it is, bro. So I don't know what the hell they talking about. And who the hell will? By placing a blanket ban on wolf hybrids, they're trying to reduce the number of potential dog attacks. And you can't blame them for that. Big ass number dog. 10. Neapolitan nah, Mastiff. Looking at a Neapolitan Mastiff, you may not think it's all Hell that surprising nah. that some countries impose restrictions on their thing. ownership. After all, just look at the sheer size of them. Thanks for the kisses. This is Mariposa. We just had to call her Mariposa. In Singapore, it's illegal to own this breed. In Romania, you must pass a psychological evaluation. In saying that, not everyone is convinced that these dogs are deserving of ownership restrictions. Especially not if they're brought up right. 
Neapolitan Mastiffs, when socialized and trained, are quiet, calm, and relaxed dogs. Sure, they're massive and are definitely protective, but some people believe that a Chihuahua has more attitude and savageness than this gentle giant. Like anything, it's all in how you bring them up. Ooh, can can up. Also, socialization and training are key. They can be quite stubborn, but they respond well to praise and food, don't we all? They're also Every dog not likely there. to start fights, but the problem is, they can undoubtedly end them. That's why some people are wary of owning such a large breed. However, with a well-rounded one that sees you as the pack leader, you'll find yourself in possession of a huge, drooling, snoring, and lovable doggo you wouldn't want to be without. Number 9. I wouldn't get that Presa dog. Canario. Yeah, them, them bitches big as hell too. Presa Canarios, Canarios. If you live in a country that has a lot of dog breed bands, then you'll probably see Preza Canario on the list more often than not. Now, we don't like to say bad things about our sweet, innocent doggo friends, but it is worth noting that this pooch doesn't have the best record, and for that, we're quite sad. <laughs> The Presa Canario ranked fourth in the 1982-2014 report for dog attacks. It was responsible for 111 of them, 46 of which were against children and 41 against adults. Out of all attacks, it, 18 resulted in death and 63 resulted in permanent injuries. As you can see, they are not a dog to mess with. They are quite powerful, and that is unfortunately not used for good. Many criminals and bad people use this dog for fighting, taking advantage of their aggressive streak that can form when they're not trained. Sure, they are a loyal pet and guard dog when trained, but entirely unpredictable when they're not. What's more, if you are not the pack that, leader... Oh, you... that bitch nasty. That all the black. They're not. What's more? That motherfucker nasty. What color his eyes is? That's a girl little boy. His eye, I don't know what color the eyes is. If you are not the pack leader, you would nasty. find that the Preza Canario is a strong-willed dog that's difficult to control. These traits are not a recipe for success. Number 8. Akita. The Akita is banned or restricted in Washington, Iowa, Louisiana, Michigan, and Tennessee. As a result, if you own this beautiful breed, you won't be able to move there with it, or you'll be required to follow specific ownership regulations. What's wrong with it? The Akita Rescue of the Mid-Atlantic said that Akitas generally have a reputation for being aggressive. They come oh. from Japan. Nah, that sound like a bunch of pussies. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. You want a soft dog that just, you know, walk around and be a little pussy all day, like a little chihuahua or something? Hell nah. I want an aggressive dog, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Press of canarios, can corso, pit bulls. I don't want no rottweilers, though. Hell no. Nah. I don't want no rottweilers. You know what I'm saying? Can corso is just big as hell. Them bitches is a horrible and are described as a noble hunter and guard dog. They were originally bred for hunting, so they are definitely a courageous breed. However, their natural confidence, along with their protectiveness, can be a terrible combination. They can react aggressively if provoked and are also very protective Any of dog food. Like that. As a result, if you accidentally or purposefully go near their food, you may find yourself in quite a spot of bother. Any dog, Any dog does that, my nigga can be cause for concern when they are not well socialized. But the Akita is a breed that requires a little more work. If you own one, you have to be willing to put a lot of time and effort into training while being aware of their natural traits and instincts. Number 7. Tosa Ken. Kind of the Tosa that? Ken is a beautiful, interesting dog in many ways. And just looking at it, you may find it hard to believe that it's banned in several same. countries. You will not see this dog in Australia, yeah, New Zealand, that. Turkey, the UK, Denmark, Iceland, Malta, Norway, and several other Metal places. Pit. Damn, that's a monster. Some countries do do allow them? ownership of Tosa Ken, but put restrictions in place to make it a complicated process. But why? Oh, no, well, they are a fighting dog in Japan. 
They were initially bred as a massive fighting machine and are therefore quite powerful and strong, not to mention stubborn. They also pick up a bite inhibition early on from their mother, so it takes an experienced owner to train this out of them from a young age. If you don't, you end up with a large, dominant dog that has a natural instinct to bite, and one that you can't stop. This breed also has a high pain tolerance, so if it finds itself in an altercation with another dog, it will nearly always come out on top. It has no problem defending itself and is quite reactive. Endo, While beautiful, oh. you will not find the Tosa Ken an easy dog to own. Number 6. Boxer. A boxer? Now, this one might surprise you. How on earth could a big, bouncy, wiggly, friendly boxer be one of the most illegal dog breeds in I the world? Get a boxer anyway. Well, technically, they aren't banned, except in Ukraine, but some countries have restrictions in place to make sure only responsible owners can have them. That dog, I'm getting the motherfuckers. Surprisingly, from 1982 to 2014, boxers were behind 62 attacks. 23 adults and 19 children were hurt, and there were also Which seven do deaths. Too. There is no denying that these energetic dogs are lovable, but they are also exceptionally loyal, powerful, and muscly. Maybe not the best recipe when they're put in a situation where they think they have to defend their family. In many other ways, though, the Boxer is a loving family pet. They grow up to about 75 pounds and can be fawn, brindle, or white. They also have powerful jaws, a square muzzle, and short fur. Believe it or not, they are the 11th most popular dog in the United States. Duh. They're not aggressive or vicious by nature, but they become attached ten. to their family and grow into their instinctive guardian nature. So they, like most dogs, need plenty of socialization early on. Number 5. American Bulldog The American Bulldog is a sad. beautiful animal that fits into many people's families perfectly. But that doesn't mean that they are welcome in every country. Bro, in take fact, that damn the American Bulldog, which is him, quite dog. a strong-willed dog, is not allowed in Singapore or Denmark. <laughs> any dog would do that, nigga. This breed has also been responsible for the mauling of a five-year-old girl in 2009 and the attacks of children on a school bus. Every dog is capable of attacking, but some breeds are even more capable than others. American Bulldogs are agile, obedient, and athletic dogs. People also adore them for their confidence, strength, tenacity, and ability to pull their weight while hunting or working on a farm. But they have their drawbacks as well. They can be standoffish towards strangers and can also become aggressive if not like socialized that. with other animals early on. They require a firm owner who is confident, consistent, and has a stronger will than the dog. If you want to own an American Bulldog, you have to be quite careful. Choose the right puppy from the right breeder and get training underway as soon as possible. Then you can enjoy a well-rounded family pet. Number 4. Bull Terrier. Yeah, that's the motherfucking dog up for uh, next Friday. You know, motherfuckers that fights to The Bull Terrier breed. Damn, that motherfucker big as hell. The one in Friday must have been a baby. Because that motherfucker her large. Gets the short end of the stick. Some countries have put restrictions on their ownership, or at least look down upon people who own them. But it's worth knowing that the English Bull Terrier's not really as bad as they're made out to be. They were bred for centuries to fight other dogs. <laughs> so it makes sense for people to think that they are vicious. They are also powerful, sturdy dogs, which can add to that impression. But would you believe me if I told you that they're generally no more aggressive than any other dog? Just like any other dog, it's more or less about the training and upbringing. English Bull Terriers have a lot of self-control and non-aggression. These traits have been encouraged through generations and generations of breeding. So they are actually known as a patient, tolerant, calm, and collected breed. They are friendly towards their owners and quite friendly with most people they meet, in fact. Sure, they're a little clumsy in play, which can make them not suitable for playtime around kids. <laughs> but otherwise, they are one of the most patient and calm dogs. So is their reputation and subsequent ownership restrictions really fair? Well, you be the judge. Number three, 
German Shepherd. Big ass guard. Dog. Around a dozen countries like Ireland, the United States, Ukraine, and Malaysia put restrictions on the ownership of German Shepherds. And while they are a beautiful and popular dog, we're not at all surprised that they are one to approach with caution. They Duh. rank third in the most deaths caused by dog bites, They're having been responsible dogs. for 15 fatalities in a 12 year period. From 1982 to 2014, they were also responsible for 113 attacks. Given their use as a police dog, we're not sure if those figures include attacks in the line of duty, but it does at least outline how powerful this dog really is. German Shepherds were bred for herding livestock, but that doesn't mean that they don't have aggressive tendencies. They are large, powerful dogs that need someone to take of control at aggressive. all times. They were used a lot during the Second World War and became popular in the United States during the early 20th century. They are highly trainable, protective, athletic, and responsive. So they have many of the traits that have become useful for search and rescue tasks, drug detection, police work, and bomb detection. Still, both their physical and mental strength make them unsuitable for first-time dog owners. Number 2. Dogo Argentino the Dogo Argentino is banned in several countries, including Australia, New Zealand, and Portugal. It weighs in at around 100 pounds and has been used for dog fighting in the past. 100 pounds? Damn that dog big as hell. This beautiful but banned breed was bred in Argentina in 1928. It came from the Cordoba Fighting Dog, which is now extinct, and was a mix of such breeds as the Great Dane, Dog de Bordeaux, and Irish Wolfhound. Looking at the Dogo Argentino, it is clearly a large dog, but is it deserving of being banned? Yeah. Well, yes Damn, and no. Bull. Typically, they are friendly and cheery dogs. They make beautiful companions and are reasonably intelligent. In saying that, they aren't overly child or dog friendly. They are also a fearless hunter and watchdog, more so than a companion with which you can cuddle up on the sofa. You have to put a lot of time and effort into training, and even then, it's with the knowledge that they Maybe have a predisposition grass. to be aggressive. So while you might not ever give this dog a reason to bite, it may be a fear at the back of your mind. As a result, several countries have <laughs> taken preventative measures to make it illegal to own one. Number 1. Boar Bull if you want to own a boar bull and live in Denmark, they then all look the you're same out of luck. This South African dog that resembles a bull mastiff is banned there. Why are you nitpicking with the it, stupid? Bull, which roughly translates to farm dog in Dutch, is the product of guard dogs and African dogs being mixed. Bull mastiffs were brought into South Africa by De Beers to guard mines, and they became popular for their guarding abilities ever since. They are also not overly aggressive, but their heft makes them quite terrifying to some. They yeah, can what? weigh up to 150 pounds. Damn, big Perhaps ass. one of the most convincing reasons why this dog is illegal in some places is that it's capable of killing people. Without appropriate Every training and socialization, a person, there is dude. the potential for it to it's do great harm. For example, a woman was found in Brent Creek unresponsive with her boar bull guarding her. Her wounds were consistent with an animal attack. She owned six of them and had been offering puppies for sale. There are surely plenty of loving borbles out there, but they will require experienced owners to be the pack leader. Some countries and lawmakers feel like they are banning particular breeds for good reason. Still, you won't always get it right. Which one of these? None of them. 